Okay, today we're going to learn how to create and, and run a, an electrical circuit using AKTS. Right now we're at the AKTS window. So we have the file menu, edit, windows and help. The open icon, uh, new, open icon, save, print, and this one the library and the list. These three here are the most important thing here. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward program. Simple yet uh, working. So we click on library, we'll here we'll see the different devices that available for our circuit simulation. And uh, this one is the list, the list of uh, items that we'll be you'll be using when you create a circuit. Right now we don't have a device yet, so that's empty. So let's close that one up. Next is we're going to create a simple start-stop circuit. First thing we're going to do is uh, we need a motor. We'll open the three-phase induction motor here and you'll see the symbol. Double click on it. It will appear on your working screen. The next is we need a Normally open triple contact. This one, double click and move it here. Then rotate it to be to align the wirings. Then of course, the most important thing is the supply. We need a three phase supply. Double click, then move. Then we can now make or create a, a connection. Now notice the three buttons here, here and here. These are the descriptors of the devices. Now for the supply and the motor, may this might not be that important, but for contactors, this is very important. Right now, uh, we don't have a relay contactor that is being inserted, so we don't have any selection here. Notice that by we when we add when we add the contactor we'll have the selection here, especially if we create a description for the contactor. So that's basically our power circuit. Next is we're going to create the control circuit. We need a neutral line. Move it here. Then one of the lines here, either line one, line two, line three. Then we need a stop button to stop our circuit, a start button to start our circuit, and we need another normally open contact for the latching. And of course, the most important thing is the contactor that controls the all of the contacts here. Next is we'll wire it up. This one here serves as a latch, so whenever we press this start button, current would go through here and here but when you release that one since our coil would be energized it would close this contact thus our current would bypass the start button and go through here and keeps on energizing our circuit now let's uh, rename this to make sense stop and this one start and of course this one as uh, normally coils and relays are named K or A so we'll name it K then of course here we can now find K and here we have K so when we add another as I said earlier when we add another coil or a relay 
and uh, if we may name it uh, let's say K1 when we replace the descriptions here we cannot find K1 because we've added another contactor but right now we don't need this one so let's remove it and that's it it's basically our circuit now let's try to run our circuit click on start or play then click the start to the start button so it's now running our power circuit we're going to stop it click on stop then it stops a ver very straightforward electrical simulator and you'll know that the motor is running because of the screen running around the circle here and when it stops you can see the momentum how it stops that's it thank you for watching and have a good day